Alright, so what's up there, YouTube? So today I'm going to be doing something I want to show you guys. Clothes in the garage. In the garage. I gotta put my clothes in the wash. And I wanted to show you guys what I'm using the vlog with. So I thought I'd do a little test today a little vlog test and just to show people that there is a way that you guys can actually do really decent vlogging with without spending a lot of money now you could yeah you could sit here and hold your phone or you could hold a get a GoPro put a little GoPro on uh, you know hold it out on a stick selfie stick something like that and yeah you could do it there's, it is possible to do, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm using here. And as you can see, I'm walking around. Let me go. Let me go out here and check the mail. So we're gonna walk out and check the mail. It's bright and sunny out here today. Now I'm using a Purple Panda microphone. So you can see that I have a lapel mic clipped on. I gotta move my granddaughter's car so I can get out. I gotta go to the store. I gotta run up the store and get um some stuff for making for making some sauce and stuff the mail is the, the trash come yeah trash guy came i didn't i didn't put the trash out i didn't have have enough to really put out but i'm gonna show you guys this cool little setup now i'm shooting uh there's there's another way to do this and i could show it to you in 1080p but it kind of needs kind of needs a little help. So I'm shooting this thing at 4K, 60 frames per second. I'm shooting this video right now, and this is my little vlogging video, walking around, showing you how smooth it looks. Now I'm going to show you on that camera what I'm what I'm using. So let's turn this on. It's on. So here's what I'm using, folks. I'm using. The Moza Mini P with my LG V60 Thin Q, and it's stabilized with a gimbal, and I can I can flip it around, double double click and flip the camera around, and show the show this camera shooting 4K 60. You can see this is I'm in my garage, so there's my car. I can drop this thing down. There's my floor that I did on my garage. I recently did that. But I can triple click. The camera will spin around. And now I'm shooting myself with this with the um with the rear camera at 4K60. And I have a purple panda lapel mic plugged in. It's cheap. $25 microphone plugged into the LG V60 and it records the audio through this lapel so you get nice clear audio perfect vlogging situation if you want to go out and vlog this thing's light it's light enough to where I can you know I can move it around I can walk I can run with it you can run, jog with it whatever you wanted to do but if you wanted to do some vlogging this is the way to do it because you already have a phone this thing's only like 200 bucks. You can pick one of these up brand new for like $200 for the for the Moza Mini P. I I've talked about this gimbal before. What well, another thing I really like about it is the little legs, little tripod legs. So if you're if you're wanting to just set the camera down, you can set it down on something like this and then back up and so you can just set it down and sit here and talk into the camera like this like a tripod mode pick it up and start walking around and vlogging with the camera now i'm gonna i'm gonna dump this footage from here into davinci edit it and then send it back out to you but i just thought it was kind of neat some little thing to do i'm going to show you some stuff around here i'm done shooting on that i'm going to show you some stuff around here that i've been working on around the house so i trimmed I trimmed my hedges way down, <laughs> way down. Like I just 
chopped them all the way down low and they have to grow back. So I've, <laughs> well, whatever. I, uh, I also went around and look up here. I mounted new 4K cameras up there. See the 4K camera up there? I put a piece of aluminum up there to mount the camera to. So I also worked in the in the backyard. I re fixed my gate. I replaced my gate. I built this. I built this gate. Um, I need a new fence, but until I get one, I built a nice gate, and it swings right open. Let's go. Let's go. Let's walk back here. Come with me. We're gonna walk back here and into my backyard, and let me show you what I've been did out back here. So. Here's my orange tree. I'm in Florida, so of course I have an orange tree. You have to have an orange tree in Florida. Now, you don't have to, but it's nice. I gotta trim this, but I repainted this concrete here. This whole patio area was all nasty. I repainted it uh, with concrete paint. And then, um, over here I need to come back out here and do some more around the pool so around the swimming pool I've replaced a lot of the screens I replaced this screen here I repainted I repainted around the swimming pool I also took my pressure washer and pressure washed all up here in the top of the lanai been working on the swimming pool making it nice for for um, summertime because I like to swim and I like to be out here in the summertime spend time outside so that's really all I did <laughs> I didn't do that much but I've been working on the swimming pool getting the swimming pool nice uh, repainting out here doing a lot of stuff out here in the yard around the outside of the house fixing the pool up keeping the pool nice it's nice to do anyway that's all and I'm just wanting to walk around and show you guys so you can see what it's like to um, to use this gimbal with your with your smartphone and how you can use it with a smartphone and get really really good results it's really not bad but that's one thing I'm fixing I'm, I'm getting ready to head out to the store I thought I'd make a quick video showing you guys what what I've been doing and showing you guys this the Moza Mini P with a with a you know LG V60 shooting 4K 60 it shoots 8K but I don't really need to shoot 8K to, for this I don't think most people need to shoot 8K <laughs> I think it's a little overkill right now that's why everybody's like oh if it doesn't shoot 8K whatever I'm fine with 4k if I shot 8k I would just re use it to reframe to 4k anyway but anyway so this is the video I was going to show you guys I got to throw my clothes in the dryer and I've got to um, I've got to get rolling I got to roll out to the grocery store real quick my lawnmower was starting to act act up uh, it was starting to act a little um, I hit I hit something. I'm pretty sure I hit a a stump or something in my yard and it bent the shaft. So I was looking I had like three or four of these uh, 80 volt cobalt batteries that I got for the lawnmower and the weed eater. I have a weed eater also. I could only use them for the weed eater. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just buy another cobalt 80 volt. So I looked on the website on Lowe's was where I bought it. And they didn't have the one that I had. They had newer ones and they had different ones that were 40 volts and they had different batteries and different stuff. And I was like, I'm sure I could keep looking around and finding it. So I thought, well, let me see if, let me see if somebody has one used for sale. So I looked on Facebook Marketplace and there was somebody real close to me selling the same lawnmower, only just like brand new but it was self-propelled with a blower 
a separate blower, but it was only a 40 volt blower for like 250 bucks. So I was like, I can't beat it. So I contacted her right away. I went out there out in the middle of nowhere, out in the country, out in the boondocks and picked up this lawnmower. It was like brand new. Tilt it down. There's the mower. And it's self-propelled. So it's got the two levers so you can push it, pull this up and it and it it drives. It's self-propelled. And then it also came with a blower and the bag was never even used. There's a the cobalt bag. Never even used. And uh it's fantastic. Paid like 250 bucks for it. You can't beat that. Thing works perfect. I was out here cutting the grass. I love it. I, I should have gotten a self-propelled one all along. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so that you can get informed when I, you know, when I post videos. I don't do a lot of videos, but I do some here and there, and I, I like to, um, do stuff like this it's a little bit different i haven't seen anybody doing videos like this especially vlogging i think this might be the the I, most ideal vlogging setup ever i like using my dslrs and i like using my um well my mirrorless cameras not dslrs i like using those for vlogging and i like the little z50 for vlogging but this thing is super light super easy and it and it's uh and it works and you already have it i already have it in my pocket so it's handy so you can't beat it you really just can't beat it it's an awesome awesome vlogging setup i think what do you guys think if you think this would be a good vlogging setup holler holler below comment below what you think man i got dust all over my bike anyway I, i'm out youtube see you take it easy